Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Annie would like to introduce you to Thomas Brendley. Hi, how are you doing today? He said. Hi, oh, I'm well, thanks, replied Annie. That's good to know. I'm Thomas from New Orleans. Good evening. What's your name? And where are you from? He asked. Oh great, you sent me a friend request and you couldn't be bothered to look at my name. I live in Shaftesbury and Dorset. I just wanted to show my he said. You look nice. Can we be friends? I work as an engineer. I have no idea what that means, she said, in reply to him saying, I just wanted to show my. What kind of engineer? I work on the checkouts in a supermarket. OK, a marine engineer, he said. I work in the ship and do lots of drilling. Just look at that ship, ladies and gentlemen. I'll enlarge it for you. I don't think you need to be a rocket scientist to see that that's a container ship. What do you mean, and do lots of drilling? Who's that man in the photo? It's me! Can't you see my profile? Please tell me what you mean by and do lots of drilling. What are you drilling on a container ship? The container contains oil that has been drilled, he said. Did you go to work today? Oh, I've always wondered how you transport oil. I'm not working today. Where's your ship? In Finland. Remember that. It's a very risky job. I've lost some of my workers over the years. How have you lost them? asked Annie. They got drowned, he said. Are you married? That was careless. I thought container ships were stable. I'm divorced. He was a two-time ambassador. I'm sorry about that. Why do people drown on container ships? Are you bad at ensuring your crew's safety? You are in charge, after all. Because, although he'd told Annie he was an engineer, the person in the photo was wearing a ship's captain's outfit. No, it's the risk they were willing to take, he said. Why are you always asking questions that are condescending? Why do you make random statements that mean very little unless I ask you to explain them? Asked Annie. I'm sorry that you're willing to endanger your crew in such a way. Let's be honest. I work in the ship and do lots of drilling. Is the sort of thing a six-year-old would write, not what a mature ship's captain would write, and tells me nothing. I was so hoping you were a mature, intelligent man that I could have a proper conversation with. Where is your ship heading to? My ship is not heading to where the compass detect oil, he said, and it's most likely to be north. Oh, you don't know where you're going. Is it some kind of magical mystery tour? I don't know compasses detected oil. You learn something new every day. Yeah, compass does, he said. It's a quite expensive one. <laughs> I guess it would have to be, said Annie. What country do you stay, he asked. I haven't moved since last week. I'm still in England. Oh, so you travel a lot, he said. Uh, no, it's you that's on a ship, said Annie. I visited London with my wife three years ago, he added, completely irrelevantly. LOL. Yeah. What did you say while you were there, she asked. I really don't want to talk about it, because it's going to bring about painful memories. Then why did you tell me? Because I like your city. It's nice, he said. If the person that you're talking to online tells you they've been to where you live, or they've been to anywhere, then all they can say about it is, it's nice, and the people are friendly. Then you know they've never been anywhere near that place. We don't live in London. You could sell your ship to London, although I'm not sure they'd allow all those containers full of oil, or would they? No, they would not. Do you have any kids? I didn't think they would. Anyway, you have to take them north. Are you heading for the North Pole? I have grown-up twins. They're 30. Hello, well, no, it's just north of the sea, he said. That's great. I have one daughter. She's all I have since the passing of my wife. Her name is Elizabeth. North of which, say? Asked Annie. How old is she? Mediterranean, said our man, who just told her that he was in Finland. She's 13 years old. And before we go any further, let's have a quick look at the map. Finland is at the top of this map. I've circled the North Sea. And at the bottom of the map is the Mediterranean Sea. She's 13 years old, he said. Where are you heading to? asked Annie, after he'd told her he was in the med. Our compass! Locate oil! And we drill! But for now we're resting, because the drilling takes a lot of energy from us. Have we ever left England before? 
Oh my goodness, do you have to draw by hand? That must be really hard work. Yes, I have. Yes, it's very hard, but we have mechanical tools that are used. And also, we try to be very careful so that we do not allow the oil spill on water. Really? So what country have you gone to? Spain, she answered. Do you have to operate the drills by hand? Do you have to turn a giant handle? Is that why it takes so much energy? My friend, I would love to explain. But you're not an engineer, he said. Nice, in reply to her saying she'd been to Spain. No, I'm not, but you could explain anyway. Why does it take so much energy from you? Do you have to turn the handle or a lever or something? OK, the drill are done by heavy mechanical tools that are controlled while underneath the water. That doesn't tell me why it takes so much energy from you. Do you have to operate the drills by hand? Can't you see? It's controlled, he said. you got to hand it to these scammers. We've never met one that's got even the remotest idea how they drill for oil, have we? I can't see anything, said Annie. I'm asking you why it takes so much energy from you. If a mechanical tools is controlled, what do you use in controlling it? He asked. If you aren't drilling by hand, why does it take a lot of energy from you? And in reply to him saying, what do you use in controlling it? She said, probably electronics, then you just press a button. Because we spend hours underneath the sea working, controlling it. That's why, he said, from the looks of things, you really don't care about people. You mean you have to dive and hold the drill in place? I do care. That's why I'm concerned that it's taking so much of your energy. And in reply to her saying, you mean you have to dive and hold the drill in place? He replied, that's a stupid question to ask. How old are you? No, it's not, said Annie. You just told me you spend an hour underneath the sea controlling it. If you aren't holding it, how are you controlling it? And why do you have to be underneath the sea? If I have to explain everything to you, that shows you're still a kid, he said. Yes, you do replied Annie, because that's how someone learns, and I want to learn. OK, I want to learn too, he said, hoping she might enlighten him. So you're underneath the sea, controlling the drill. Tell me about yourself. Enough of my work. How are you controlling it? If you aren't holding it, she said, and not until you've told me properly about yours. So you're underneath the sea, you're controlling the drill. How are you controlling it if you aren't holding it? I'm an engineer. That's enough for you to know. And if you want to know more about drilling, go and Google it. You'll learn more there. Well, that is very true, ladies and gentlemen. You'll learn more from Google than you'll ever learn from this idiot. Don't be rude, said Annie. I'm asking you, an experienced engineer, to tell me about the job he's doing, not Google. I will be rude, he said, because you're asking me about my job all day. So you're underneath the sea. You're controlling the drill. How are you controlling it if you aren't holding it? It's a simple question. At least it is, if you really are an engineer. I see where this is going, said our man, beginning to think he might have been rumbled. And you really are doing the work you tell me you're doing. You have no sense of humour, he said. Oh, ah, uh -huh, said Annie, which bit was the joke? Have you asked me anything except my work, he tried, telling me you're underwater? No, because so far you haven't told me anything sensible about your work. You know nothing about drilling, so I won't explain further, said our man. So I'll ask you once more. Once more, it's a simple question. If you want to learn, go and Google it. So you're underneath the sea, you're controlling the drill. Are you controlling it if you aren't holding it? Don't be rude. You're the experienced engineer, so I'm asking you to explain your job. If you can't, then I know you're lying to me. What do you really do? Cleaner? Cook? Deckhand? You have a brain, he said. You're supposed to know that an engineer is projected to be controlled by someone. Oh, you mean you're a robot? Is that why you don't know how you control the drill? If you have a brain, you'd be able to explain your job to me. But clearly you don't. Anyway, you're obviously a brainless lying dumb idiot. So go away. Goodbye. From all this... I can see why you're divorced, he said. You lack a proper sense of humour. Which bet was meant to be funny or a joke? None. It's just the fact, he said. You've been speaking of on something a common sense already knows. You should have asked me the colour of my ship. Or better still, why is the sea blue? OK, said Annie. 
What colour is your ship? White, he said. So Annie added, why is the sea blue? It seems that bit of basic physics was beyond our man, then disappeared. I hope you enjoyed this short tale of a man who simply had no idea about drilling for oil. If you did, please like it, please share it, please comment down below, please subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you again in another video.